If you are playing Project Wingman on the beta or PS5, continue watching this video. The SK-37 is a plane that I previously spoke poorly about due to its underwhelming stats and non-flexible weapons loadout. Go watch my first video about this to learn more about the basics of the plane and how much I despised it at the time. In this video, I will go over what changed and how much more I enjoy it now. So what changed exactly since the beta and post Frontline 59 release? For starters, let's look at the standard weapons loadout. You will notice that this plane and the SK-27 have 4 standard missiles they can fire by default to give you the XFA-27 experience. This is a significant buff as now you can take down bosses quicker or down 3 hit targets in one pass. However, do keep in mind that mindlessly throwing 4 missiles per salvo will deplete your reserves when they really matter. No other plane could do this unless they can equip more standard missiles which is not always ideal as they will just take up a weapon slot. The SK-37 still has no ground capabilities but you can use the SK-27 for those kinds of multi-role missions. As for stats, the stat card did not change but the gameplay has significantly improved. Your hitbox feels smaller now so you don't just eat random missiles you thought you could dodge. Changes to flying higher does not slow you down as much anymore and as a result, you'll get better acceleration. When performing maneuvers, your speed will not bleed as much as before. Such changes allow for you to dogfight better and as a result, the SK-37 now has the performance to compete with its fellow prototypes and can almost keep up with the FS-15. For modules, they remain the same. If you still don't feel confident playing in an environment with high missile tracking or lack the ability to dodge incoming fire, continue to use flares. This time around though, you'll still have a better chance of not getting hit compared to before. If you are like me however, I always will use AOA no matter what and with the maneuverability changes, the Eurobeak module is much more viable. It's never a how to video unless I have my Eurobeak montage slotted in somewhere. There are no changes to the skins and those playing on PC can still download mods. Well that's all I have to say for now. The SK-37 is a plane that everyone thought was bad but is now good. Remind yourself to play it again after you had a bad experience with it and realize that it is now better than ever. For you flanker lovers out there, it is now a good time to rekindle your love for this plane as she makes her redemption arc. I am not very good at words. I should shut up now. Just go replay the SK-37.